Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. It is certainly wonderful seeing you. Just a reminder that today will be the last day of the devotional videos until Monday. Also, this weekend on Sunday, we will be having two services, one at 10 o'clock on Zoom and Facebook Live, and then one at 11 o'clock on YouTube. At 11 o'clock, that will be done by Brad, and I will be doing the one at 10 o'clock. Also, please remember the Next Week in Church project. We're getting many, many videos, and I'm looking forward to putting that together next week. So if you haven't gotten yours in, please do so, because I certainly would like to include you in this, in this project. So today... Actually, it was yesterday, now that I think about it. I had to go to two stores. I had to go to Target or Target, and I had to go to Giant. So I went, I had my mask on, and I'm, I'm walking around. And I must admit, I, I admire all the doctors because I feel like I am... Um, literally, I can't breathe when I have the, uh, the mask on. But anyway, just the enormity of this coronavirus hit me pretty hard. Number one, I didn't know who anybody was. I thought to myself, my goodness, there could be people from the church here that I'm walking by and I don't even say hello because I don't recognize them because of the mask. Then the arrows that you go down this way, then this way on the aisles. Then the checking out, where there's a, a barrier between yourself and the checkout person. And coming home and making sure the bags are, are clean, etc., etc. As well as taking a look at public opinion and noticing that Shook Home, bless their hearts, has been really affected by the coronavirus with people dying and, and people being sick. And I started to feel fear, started to feel a little overwhelmed, thinking to myself, my goodness, this thing is huge. I realized that, but it, it really hit me. And what are we as a people, what are we going to do? And thinking, my goodness, I'm sure politicians, our president, our governor, our legislators, our, our mayor, our, our city council, they, they don't have a book called Pandemic 101 for politicians, and there certainly isn't one for ministers. Again, the feeling of this thing is huge. It, it's, it's big to consider. And then I was reminded of the following verse from Jeremiah. Jeremiah 32:27. It reads, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? <laughs> the answer is no. Nothing is too hard for God. It may be too hard for us. It may be too hard for us, especially when we fear. And one of the things that could be causing fear is just the enormity of it. But as we sit here, let us remember that it's not too hard for God. Was Egypt too hard for God? No. The Israelites were delivered. Was Queen Jezebel too hard for God? No. She was defeated. Was death too hard for God? No. Because Jesus was raised and so will we. Friends, the list goes on and on. I just thought to myself, leprosy. Is leprosy too hard for God? No, Jesus healed it. Let's hold on to that. Let's hold on to the reality that this coronavirus is not too hard for God. And let us pray to God for wisdom, for discernment, 
and for guidance as we deal with this uh, pandemic. I hope you have a great week. Please remember to get in the Next Week in Church videos because prayerfully Next Week in Church. Let's pray. Glorious and loving God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for those who have gathered. We thank you for this week. Sometimes it seems really big, oh God, this coronavirus, and it is, but you're bigger. You conquered death. You conquered Egypt. You conquered sin. The list goes on and on. You took the devil down. And the list goes on and on. So let us remember that. The coronavirus is just one more le- uh, domino, if you will, in a line of dominoes that have fallen. Thank you, God, for that. And I just ask your blessing upon us. I ask your blessing on the services on Sunday. And I ask your blessing on our congregation. In Christ's name we pray. Next week in church. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you today, this week, and forevermore. Next week in church. Have a good day.